Should new truck drivers pay for truck driving school? Well, there's not exactly a simple yes or no answer as there never is on this channel. But in this video, we're gonna talk about whether you should pay for truck driving school or have a trucking company pay for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out the pros and cons of paying for truck driving school. And then we're gonna move into some of the comparisons. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. So the pros, number one, are gonna be you're not rushed. Uh, when you pay for a truck driving school yourself, they're almost always much longer than actually going through a trucking company to get your CDL. So you're not getting the crash course version. For me, it was two and a half weeks, and that was four days to get my permit, and then an absolute crash course to learn how to drive the truck. Uh, the extended interval is gonna give you a lot more comfort going through that school. And then number two, what it's gonna allow you to do is it's going to give you more drive time. You know, actually kind of like OJT, on the job training. It's, you know, getting behind the wheel of the truck and getting those repetitions are the, really it's the only way that you're going to learn how to drive that truck. You're gonna get a lot more of that if you pay for a school yourself. And then the third one, and this is not gonna necessarily apply to everyone, but it's certainly possible to actually make a decent wage when going through truck driving school that you put yourself through. Uh, a lot of times you'll be able to choose whether you wanna go during the day or if you're looking for a night class. I do believe a lot of the truck driving schools offer a night class. So it's gonna allow you to actually make, you know, some kind of income while you're putting yourself through that truck driving school. The truck driving schools, well, We'll get into that a little bit later. Now looking at the cons, well, right off of the bat, it's, it's expensive to actually go through to put yourself through truck driving school. Uh, now, something you need to be aware of, in some states, they, there are grant programs. Uh, some of the truck driving schools do also offer financial aid uh, to help you get through that, to help you pay for that. Um, you know, if you if you don't have a lot of money, I, I highly recommend you at least entertain the thought or look at the truck driving schools because obviously grants are free and then the financial aid will allow you to pay that truck that truck driving school rather than be indebted to one of these trucking companies, which we'll get into that in a little bit as well. Another thing is you don't really know what the quality of the school is going to be. Sure, you can look at you know the reviews that are on the website, but eh, those are always going to be biased. So you never really know what you're going to get when you when you go to an actual trucking company. When you go through their truck driving school, they're going to train you how they want you to be trained, versus going you know paying yourself. Like I said, it's kind of a crapshoot. You don't know if you're going to get a good school, a bad school, or if you're going to be tra properly trained well enough to be put out over the road by yourself. And lastly, I'd be remiss if I don't talk about this. When you go through truck driving school, through, through a trucking company, you're at least gonna get some kind of pay. So technically this is kind of a con, but if you're able to adjust your schedule, then you can make some kind of money, but I kind of had to throw this in there as a con. When, you're, when you pay for truck driving school yourself, you're getting absolutely zero wage. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Um, kind of the first point is, you know, going through a trucking company to get your CDL is very rushed versus paying for truck driving school yourself. What do I, what do I mean by that? Well, I did touch on that a little bit earlier. All of these trucking companies, they want to get you in that seat as fast as possible so you start making them money. And when you pay for it yourself, it's they're they're more inclined to make sure that you actually know what you're doing when you leave because you are paying yourself versus these trucking companies they're you know they're footing the bill uh, they are putting you through this school it does it costs them money to you know hire the trainers it costs them money to put you up a lot of times these these trucking companies they will actually put you up in a room and some of them will even feed you so, you know, they're incurring a lot of cost, so it behooves them to really try to get you through, to roll you through, to keep their costs down as much as possible. 
So they don't necessarily care if you're getting excellent training. All they care about is can you get your CDL and can you start making money for them? That's really it. Versus paying for it yourself, they're gonna take, they're, they're gonna take their time. Uh, there's a little bit more one-on-one -on -one when you're paying for the truck driving school. A lot of times the classes are a lot smaller. Uh, my class, when I started, we had 60 something people, I believe, when we started. And uh, I think 22 of us made it through. So it's kind of difficult when you go on that crash course versus paying for it, the nice drawn out teaching. But it's definitely something to keep in mind, especially if you know yourself, I would hope by this time you've been through school and you know whether or not you learn quickly or not. So it's certainly something to keep in mind. Now the second point, because I'm, I'm sure a lot of you clicked on this video, is it actually worth the cost? And I am absolutely gonna say yes, it is worth the cost. Uh, why is that? Well, when you go through a trucking company to get your CDL, they are, they're going to tie you into a contract, okay? So you're kind of stuck with their rate, what they wanna pay you. And since they're incurring cost, well, they have to make that up somehow. These mega carriers pay less wages to people that they provide CDLs for. And from a business perspective, it just makes sense. Whereas if you get your CDL on your own through truck driving school, you have you, so many more options are open to you. Not all of them, because a lot of the companies require you to have X amount of experience before you can uh, hire onto them. And that's for insurance purposes but you're going to be able to get a better wage faster than if you actually go to a mega carry to get your CDL. And it's a catch 22, we'll get into that in a second, but you're gonna be able to make a higher starting wage if you go through your, on, on your own volition to go through truck driving school. And the third point, and I just talked about this, when you go through a trucking company, when you go through their truck driving school, they put you under contract. Uh, I went this route because I didn't have enough money, quite frankly. I didn't have grants or financial, you know, financial uh, aid available to me. So I had to go through truck driving school through a trucking company and I was under contract for one year. Now I'm hearing that a lot of these companies that do this, that provide this service, they're actually extending this out. They're actually, now, a lot of them are two-year contracts rather than just one year. Okay. Now there are certainly still one-year contracts that are available, but for the most part, I think what you'll find out there is some of the companies are actually two years now. And getting tied into a company like that, let's say you don't like the company, and you wanna leave, you wanna go somewhere else, you're not getting miles, there's a plethora of reasons why you, you may wanna leave. Well, you're stuck and, and you may kind of get jaded from the trucking industry because they're gonna tie you with a large bill, at least they're gonna try. If you do your homework, I'm gonna leave it at that. They can't exactly tie you with that. They can't tie you down with that, but do your homework don't get put into a contract, especially don't get put into a two-year contract. That's just, no. The fourth point is, you know, how is it better pay going, putting yourself through truck driving school and, and getting outside of these mega carriers? Well, actually, let's look at just the mega carriers in and of themselves. Let's say you, you get your CDL yourself and then you go higher onto a mega carrier, you're actually available for a much higher starting pay. They don't all operate like this, but for the most part, they do. And that's, once again, they're trying to recoup their cost, so they're starting you out lower on a cent per mile basis, rather than if you have your CDL, you'll, you'll come out of the gates at these mega carriers making more money. Now, I don't recommend that you go to a mega carrier uh, if you already have your CDL, Sure, some of them are great, but for the most part, there's much better paying options elsewhere. One of the best places for you to work, it's not necessarily a place, but if you can find an owner operator that owns a truck, that owns multiple trucks, that you can run for, you're gonna come out so much further ahead. You're more, I've touched on this in other videos, I'll just say this really quickly, you're probably gonna be on mileage, or I'm sorry, on percentage pay, 
instead of mileage pay. You're almost always gonna make more money on percentage than you are mileage. And working for an owner operator, that's how we run. We run off of percentage. Um, so getting that, you know, having those options available to you, you just have so many more places to make way more money than, you know, the, the, the average cent per mile that you're gonna get from the big companies. So point number five, we're gonna kind of look at the other side of the coin a bit. Uh, there is obviously less upfront cost to you when you go through a trucking company to get your CDL, which is what I had to do. Didn't have a lot of money, kind of had a mediocre job at best. Uh, you know, was living paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this video, you're kind of in the same boat. You're tired of this. You want a place that you can make more money. I have lots of videos talking about that on the channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button, check out some of my other stuff, but there's a lot less upfront cost, and that's quite frankly because they do everything for you. Uh, if, if the company that you're looking at does not put you up in their room or in a hotel, does not feed you, find another one because there's plenty out there that do this. Uh, now, you're not gonna be making a whole lot of money when you go through the truck driving school, so be aware of that. Uh, I I don't even know what I made, like $100 a week, maybe $200 a week, something like that. But the fact that you're not taking in all of these additional costs is huge. Food alone is huge. So, you know, kind of the upfront cost, if you're not, a, if you're not able to get those grants or to get some kind of financial aid to put yourself through it, don't be scared to actually hire on to one of the, you know, some of these companies that, that do provide your, your CDL. You can make it and you just have to look at it like it's on the job training and it's, it's rookie pay, it's entry pay. It just is what it is, but you can progress in a trucking career very, very quickly. I took the slow route because I was very fortunate making good money at first and I bought my first truck in five years. I know multiple people, I'm not recommending this, but I do know multiple people that bought their truck after one year of truck driving. So it is possible to ladder up to make more money very quickly in the trucking industry. And kind of rolling straight into it, going through a trucking company, obviously you get to make more money faster. It's kind of like part of the cons, right? When they provide you with that crash course and you're able to make it through that, get your CDL, kind of the typical setup is you go through their truck driving school and then you're put on the truck with a trainer. Now you're not gonna be killing it, you know? You're not gonna be making a whole lot of money when you're on the truck with the trainer. The trainer's gonna be making all the money, but they are going to pay you something. And so allowing you to earn some kind of money to hopefully pay your bills and then you'll be able to progress from there. There are some companies that will throw two people together that just went through training, and then you'll run as a team for a few weeks. Uh, there are other companies that will just give you your truck and you know throw you to the wolves, so to speak. But you'll be able to make money faster if you do go through a trucking company to get your CDL, but there's certainly a drawback to that. You're gonna make less money overall that first year than if you just actually do it yourself. So keep that in mind. So I said all of that to say this in summary. Yes, it is actually best to pay for truck driving school yourself. I highly recommend going that route. There's so many more better paying options. And if you can get in the, if you can get your foot in the door with an owner operator running their truck, you're going to be in so much better position later on if that's what you want to do. If you want to buy your own truck, it'll it, you learn the industry better rather than just being a steering wheel holder for a mega carrier. There's nothing wrong with it, but my recommendation, pay for truck driving school yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Check out one of these videos right over here. YouTube does an excellent job of recommending something you might want to watch. But as always, stay driven.